So whilst you can read the key takeaway messages, it is now my big pleasure to introduce to you one of our principal investigators that have actually treated quite a few patients in our clinical trial, Dr. Victor Gonzalez. Victor, please, we are very happy to hear your thoughts on and your experience on uh, the treatment with EA2353. Uh, Matthias, thank you, and thank you for the opportunity to address you today. Um, I think, you know, uh, just a quick background. I'm a retina specialist, and uh, I had the privilege of training in Boston with a lot of the experts in retinitis pigmentosa. A lot of the early work with vitamin A and uh, Dr. Burson always, you know, hammering us about retinitis pigmentosa. But in real practice, it has been a real frustration because a lot of the patients that we follow over the years, as uh, was pointed out, uh, basically they come in and we see this slow progressive degeneration of their function and their their ability to be independent. And uh, when we had the opportunity to start looking at the possibility of treatments, you know, as already was mentioned with Sterna, we're all very excited. You know, the benefit with that was that, you know, we now had a treatment, but it was a very specific treatment. Uh, it was very complex because it requires a complex surgery to, to deliver the medicine under the retina. And there are a lot of potential complications associated with that. Um, the excitement for us from uh, endogenous treatment is that a couple of factors have been addressed that were missing in the previous treatment. Number one, it's agnostic to genetic mutation. So all, potentially all patients with retinitis pigmentosa can be eligible, number one. Number two, we do not need special centers where uh, doctors have to go rigorous training in order to be do to be able to do the surgical intervention to deliver this drug. Any retina surgeon anywhere in the world can deliver an intravitreal injection because that's probably the most common treatment that we provide worldwide. And uh, the majority of the, of the countries in this world have retina specialists that are very capable to deliver intravitreal injections. So that's an, another very important uh, um, issue that we you know, have run across. The, the second one has been, you know, the assessments that we just pointed out. I mean, the benefit that I, that we've had, that my patients have had, I've known them for a long time. So I, 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 I've established a relationship with them and they're very reliable. And, and just to hear their expression on some of the benefits that the treatment has given them, um, it's very hard for, for us to really get across the essence of what we're doing with visual acuity measurements, microperimetry, and everything we've been doing. I mean, it's very necessary and it's important from a regulatory standpoint, but I think that when you see the, the functional benefit that these patients have, it's, you know, it's everyday uh, activities of living. You know, as it was pointed out, you know, being able to improve in, in a moonlit parking lot, for example, one of my patients says, you know, uh, you know, I'd get home and I'd be very concerned if it was dark and even when the moon was out, you know, I still had a, a struggle. Those little activities have improved and, and, and for patients like this, that is a major improvement. They want to be as independent as they can. Um, just coming into the office, you know, many of these patients that were in, in this trial were always led the long hallway back to the research area and, uh, Within you know six months plus, these patients were able to now navigate that a little easier. So I think, you know, really the the uh, the benefits that uh, that we are giving these patients, while you know the visual acuity measurements have been great, you know, I, I think it's a combination that really gives you the essence of what we're doing to to help uh, maximize these these patients' functional uh, vision. Uh, the fact that that the drug has been very safe. You know, one of the concerns that we've had in ophthalmology was, you know, the potential inflammatory reaction that some of these treatments are causing. You know, it was really uh, very satisfying and, and you know, gave us a lot of confidence that, you know, the patients, you know, were, were in good hands, they were safe. And, and the, for that reason, the enthusiasm and, and the, the, uh, 
the interest in these patients to complete the trials were, were very good. So I want to congratulate the Indogena team. I think you guys have uh, done a, a great and, and are addressing a, a big uh, medical need. And, uh, you know, for my patients and my staff, you know, we're all very enthusiastic to support you as much as, as you would like us to. And, and thank you for everything you've done.